Hi guys, I'm Latoya Jones from Southern Garden Kitchen Beyond the Garden and welcome to this week's episode. I'm so excited that you decided to join us and I hope that today's video is one that not only is informative, but it's something that you can take and you and apply it specifically to your life and your needs, okay? So enjoy, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't give me one of them thumbs down now. And if you really, really like the video, please share it with your friends and family on all social media platforms. All right, y'all enjoy. Good morning, SGKers. Just wanted to give you guys some quick tips when you're shopping, because I know sometimes when you're navigating, um, it can be a little difficult. Um, wanted to show you these pizzas. Um, that the local grocery store has. The Daya brands are completely vegan, but things like this, this Amy's, you have to, that's real cheese. So you really have to be um, mindful when you're shopping. You have to look, you have to, um, if you're completely vegan, you have to look at the label. Now, if you're not, then if you're just vegetarian or you're trying to convert over, uh, uh, still in transition, then, you really don't have to pay attention, but I just want to take you, let you see. They have so, so many options. Um, now, this was not available a few years ago um, when I went vegan, but one thing that I want to show you guys is like these. So you see it's green. You're like, ooh, those are nuggets, but plant-based nuggets. But when you look in the ingredients, has egg and it may contain milk the may contain doesn't really concern me because they have to put that if the if it's manufactured in a place that has milk um but the eggs so i would eat this um it's nice to see that they do have some different plant worse and burger patties and some different plant ground that um, we can try out and they've got you know convenience meals that's always nice, especially if you're on the go and you know how to cook. But this is what really grabbed my attention. So, of course, we know all this garden and stuff. So, when I was younger, my mom used to love to make voila. So, I was like, you look look at, look at the marketing. Plant-based, 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 chicken pot pie, plant-based beef pot pie. So you're like, oh, I'm in there. What you see on the ingredients? The second one that contains. Wheat, milk, and soy. So this isn't vegan. It may be plant-based because they threw a few garden chicken in there, but it has milk in it. Same with this. Um, I turned it over, and the first thing in the may have is milk, and that's because it has mozzarella cheese in there. So just be mindful. You see plant-based, and you you know you like, oh, I got it, and. This one too has milk. Now this one, I believe this uh, Chipotle chicken, when I turned on its ingredients, I think this one is completely vegan. Yeah, I don't see milk or eggs in it. But anyway, just wanted to give you a quick tour of the meatless section. Yes, they are getting better, but just be careful. Let me look at these big veggie ties. Let's see. I always got vegan mozzarella cheese. Okay, so these are, oh, and it says it right here, vegan pizza bites. Um, just be mindful, just be careful um, that it is completely 100% vegan, which means it's not gonna contain milk or eggs. All right, guys, talk to you later. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope that something that you saw in today's video will have a positive impact in your life. Please don't forget to share with share this video with your family and with your friends. And until next time, thank you for joining me on Southern Garden Kitchen Beyond the Garden.